What's up everybody, I'm The Bentist and today we're back for another YouTube video. Now you guys have requested me to react to this video forever and it's actually made by a company, or not a company, a college actually called MIT. You ever heard of them? A bunch of smart people that went behind and figured out the science behind braces. Let's get into it. Every day we rely on a substance that's harder than iron or steel, our teeth. Now that's actually true. Teeth are harder than iron and steel, but you know what another fun fact, even though it is the hardest substance in our body, it is the only substance that can't be repaired. Crazy. So if teeth oh. are harder than steel, they must also be harder than bone. And if they're harder than bone, it's then true, they why are. does your jaw, which is made of bone, not crumble under all that pressure? There's a bit of tissue called the periodontal ligament or PDL around your teeth under your gums. The PDL is a shock absorber. That's true. Now your PDL, I like to say of it as like, it's a little trampoline almost. Your teeth kind of very slowly bounce on that PDL, but she's right, your teeth are harder than bone. So what makes you think, why aren't you biting hard enough to crack through that bone? Well, it's actually that PDL which sends those nerve fibers and everything up to tell you, hey, you're biting too hard. Stop biting down so much. Let's see what else I got to say. Forces. Okay, so far so good. So good. But what if your teeth come in all funky? It's true. Sure, it looks kind of goofy, but that's not the only reason that somebody might want to fix it. Funky teeth can interfere with the way you talk and the way you eat. So how do, so we, how do fix we fix this? this? Well, I can give you a good guess. Well, we basically break our mouths with braces, except it's actually our bodies that do the breaking. That's actually true. A lot of people don't even think about this, but yeah, you actually physically change your jaw structure with braces. You literally move the teeth through the bone. I'm sure she'll get to this here in a second, but it actually physically changes the bone morphology, taking it away and putting it back all the way through. PDL has these cells called mechanoreceptors. It's true. And when do. these cells detect a force on your teeth that's too big, like if you accidentally bite into your fork, they signal the brain to stop biting down before you hurt yourself. Braces tether your teeth pulling them together or pushing them apart. Either way, they're applying a steady force. So one thing you need to know about is that braces actually deal with light continuous forces. You have to use special forces to be able to move these teeth because if you move them too fast, the bone will actually resorb and your teeth will fall out. Crazy. Either and when mechanoreceptors in the PDL no. sense this kind of smaller but sustained force, they signal cells called osteoclasts True. to the area which spew out acid and proteins to dissolve parts of your jawbone. This is great. Then the mechanoreceptors signal osteoblasts to come, and those cells deposit minerals that make bone. So there you go. So we have osteoclasts. Now those osteoclasts remove the bone. They literally spit out the stuff to say, hey, we're moving, get out of the way, and they start digging away. And these people are mining in the front and they're placing rock in the back. And basically that's how it goes. You know, you remove from the front and then you build behind it as it goes. Osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Osteoblasts rebuild the jawbone in they a rebuild new the shape jawbone. that lets the PDL hold teeth in the new position. Exactly. So braces basically force your body to dissolve itself and then rebuild itself according to their evil whims. <laughs> according to their evil whims. I love it. This is such a good shot video. Also, a good thing to note is that PDL fiber mechanoreceptor stuff as things are moving is what causes pain with braces. It's basically saying, hey, your body is not used to that and it's trying to tell you to, hey, stop doing that. After a while, your body gets used to it at about two weeks and decides, hey, we're not gonna give the pain signal anymore. Obviously, this is our new normal. And that is why your braces only hurt for the first week or two and then they go away, crazy. But Sounds your perfect. body is actually breaking down and rebuilding bone using osteoclasts and osteoblasts all the, all the time, time. Remember those miners not just if you about. have braces. Bone remodeling just, yeah, is just the way our body grows. It's true. The infant body replaces almost all of its original skeleton. I think, did you did you guys understand that? So basically she's saying that in the jaw, yes, just because we move teeth that way, that's actually the natural process of how all of our bones form. And she just straight up said that the normal skeleton that a baby has will never be there. You will completely replace that baby skeleton. Completely gone. See ya, bye. I'm interested in this, let's check it out. And it happens throughout, our entire happens throughout life. our entire life. Ten percent of my bone material is technically new since last year. So what you're trying to tell me is that I can become a new person every year because technically I am ten percent of a new person every year. Wow. But also to treat diseases like osteoporosis, which make your bones very brittle. By keeping overactive osteoclasts from dissolving the bone so much, or by huh. boosting osteoblasts to produce more bone, 
drugs can prevent bones in those patients from breaking so easily. Actually, really, really interesting. So you're telling me the same science behind my teeth moving could actually help prevent different things like osteoporosis. People with severe bone injury have to rely on bone transplants, bone transplants. where they take bone from other parts of their body and move it to the damaged area, which right. is sometimes not even possible and is always painful. So instead, Paula Hammond's group at MIT has created a new material that very slowly releases proteins. And these proteins cause osteoblasts, osteoblasts to go right to the site where the injury happened. I see. So what they're doing is they're taking osteoblasts, which are the builders of the bone, and they're trying to get it to the area that needs it to increase the amount of osteoblasts to build the bone. That's crazy. Now, this was a really big deal for us because it's really hard, hard to generate to something that very slowly releases the protein. Most of the time, the protein comes out very rapidly and gets swept away in the body so that it no longer has any effect. Now, I'm just spitballing here, but I'm wondering if you could use that technology in the mouth to help move your teeth faster. It's easy to write braces off as a form of medieval torture, but it's <laughs> Some kind people of like to call it amazing that this torture. mouth torture actually works. And it the technology does. that makes it possible is not just in your braces, it's in your bones. That's wild. That was such an insightful video. So what we learned today is that the way that braces work, okay, we've got a signal from mechanoreceptors that go down to the PDL, which is the trampoline that holds your teeth into your bone skull. And it basically tells two things, osteoclast and osteoblast, to remove bone and add bone as you move those teeth. And those things are actually the same thing that form your skeleton. So there you go, we learned the science behind braces. Maybe your brain got a little bit bigger today. If it did, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button as well, and the bell to be notified when I post videos like this. Also comment down below what you wanna see from me next. Do you wanna see reaction videos, braces videos, everything? And also, if you wanna support us, make sure to go get a toothbrush from us, man. There's something nice toothbrush, an electric toothbrush, and every one purchase we give one to a kid in need at a children's hospital. Come on, man, do the right thing. Link's in the bio. I love you guys so much. Till next time, I'm the Venice. I'll see you later. Peace.